what portion of HubSpot and your success has been, well, I'm just really, I'm just willing to shut up and focus on this for 20 years, as opposed to uh, you actually being amazing or good at product and marketing and things like that. Um, yeah, here's how I think about it. I think the outcome is a combination of like dreaming really big and like iterating really small and having tight feedback, loop, feedback loops. So the dream really big is you have to have something that can someday translate and it doesn't have to be as clear of vision as, as uh, you know, Sean has kind of laid out as far as, oh, it's going to be um, Pixar for the new generation. Um, but you have to kind of have start with something roughly big in mind, um, at least at some level. But then it really comes down to the, the iteration, right? It's, um, I think, the, and others have demonstrated this through data, is that the quality of the output is almost, I won't say always, but frequently a function of the number of iterations, not the quality of the, you know, the people. For instance, so one of the common examples that's thrown out is, uh, and I've heard it with a pottery class or a photography class, but it's like, oh, one set of students divided the class in half. Uh, let's say it's a photography class. Uh, one set of students is like, okay, every day you have to submit a photo for the next 30 days while this class is running. The other one is like at the end of the 30 days, you're going to submit your best photo. And then your grade is going to be based on the quality of that best photo. Mm -hmm. The first class is like, as long as you submit a photo every day, you're going to get an A at the end of the 30 days. The other one is like, as long as you're is a quality material, that photo is going to win. And what's been proven out across disciplines is that the class that did the multiple iterations had a better output than the one that was trying to solve for quality. Like the arguably the first one's like, oh, all I really had to do was like submit a photo. It didn't have to be like world-class quality. It's not the best I could do. But just by virtue of doing it, they're going to make it better and make it better. At the end of the 30 days, they produced a better photo and they produced a better clay pot if it was a pottery class uh, than the other one that was solving for quality. And they were like too much in their heads trying to say, oh, I'm going to do the best I can do. Like, no, just do it repeatedly. Uh, but the key to that, it has to be meaningful iteration. If you're just iterating and doing the same thing, you're not learning anything, there's no feedback loop, then the iterations have no value. But if, you're, if you have a tight feedback loop, like I'm going to do this thing and I immediately get response back that tells me whether I got better or got worse, that is amazingly like powerful to be able to do that and compound it over time. So, so I think my, I'm not that special, candidly. It's like I'm willing to grind it out more than people that are smarter, and I'm a little bit smarter than people that are willing to work, uh, grind it out. That's my Venn diagram. Um, <laughs>